Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica. Today I put together one and a half hours of a cleaning motivation for you guys. You guys seem to like these. You can throw it up on the TV or on your iPad or whatever and you can clean along with me and we can hang out while we clean. So I hope that this helps give you some motivation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new, today I'm doing an all day whole house clean with me. I did an extreme clean. I washed the bedding and just really cleaned up the house. So if you need some good motivation, then this video should help you out. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. a lot about where my comforter is from and it's actually a duvet and it is from Target online but I bought it several years ago so I'm not sure if they still have it but I also wanted to tell you guys that I am super lazy and lately instead of taking the comforter out of the duvet I've been washing them together and it's been working out just fine so if you're lazy like me and you want to try it you can try it and see if it works for you. Sometimes you kind of have to shake it to get it back even out and everything, but it doesn't bunch up in there too bad for me. Um, also, I get a lot of questions about my washer and dryer, so I'm going to show you guys the tag inside my washer if you want to screenshot it and you can look up that model number, but I love my washer. It is awesome and I have a king size bed and I can wash all my bedding in there with no problem at all. So um, just because I do get a lot of questions, I wanted to share that with you guys. Of questions about that big air purifier over there in the corner of the room it is by the brand whirlpool and i will have it linked for you guys in the description box it is a big hev heavy duty one um but i like it because it works kind of as a sound machine at night too and i like the sound of a fan it helps me to sleep it cancels out any other noise i'm a light sleeper so i like it but i think they had a silver one and a black one as well when i got this one but i will have it linked for you guys below and then I am 
using my Dyson B11 and I love it so much. I got it recently and it is amazing. The suction on this thing is incredible. It is definitely the same amount of suction as like an upright that you plug in the wall type vacuum, if not more. And I'm not even kidding you guys. It is crazy. You set the fire and tone to your promised land You've got a whole religion Who remembers these trolls from back in like the 80s and 90s? I used to have a whole collection of them. I had the ones with jewels in their belly button. I had the baby trolls. And I don't know why, but I think my mom got rid of them. I wish that she would have held on to them because I would love to have them for my girls now. But I had a whole set of like the original trolls and she did find that one for my girls. So it was funny. So I had to show it to you guys. They had it out and they were playing with it. But who remembers those? Did you have those as a kid? Let me know in the description. I mean, let me know in the comments. What am I talking about? <laughs> had Madeline wiping down the couches. I just had a wet rag this time. Sometimes I will use Murphy's oil soap mixed with water or you can actually use a moisturizing bar of soap like Dove or something mixed with water to clean your leather couches. I've showed that in a few videos but on this day I just was having her wipe them down with a wet rag while I was dusting and then for the blankets I was going to just spray them down and freshen them up and then I decided to put them in the washer so I did end up washing those. It's hurting, does never add up to peace. You start to wonder who's playing. Play me, play who? Lucky I'm stronger than ever. Got the arrangement to leave. You can go on and collect some memories of me. Abandoning is a hard word to use, but it's true.
So now I'm using that Dyson to vacuum the stairs. I love that I can take it off and add a bunch of different attachments to it. So it has this little one that I can add or I can actually put the regular floor one on it like this as well. Sometimes I do that. But this one was smaller, a little bit more detailed. So I went in with that and then while I was doing that, I decided to come back and you'll see in a second, I have the long skinny attachment and I got in between the spokes because that catches a lot of hair and dust and they haven't been vacuumed in a while. So if you have stairs, you can take a little vacuum attachment like that and get in there because it does seem to accumulate a lot of dirt. So that is what I'm doing now and um, it was definitely a workout. So if you have stairs, then this will double as your cardio for the day. <laughs> she came from kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts I'm just using my Method Wood for Good to clean down the table. That is my favorite cleaner for just regular everyday dusting and cleaning off of the tables. I did use the in dust on the tables in the living room this day just because I wanted to polish them up. I do kind of rotate that out and I'll do the in dust like once a month and then the Method Wood for Good every day. When you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs so now I'm using my e-cloth glass and polishing cloth to clean my back door. The girls had used a glass marker and they had drawn on the door. So I just made this damp and it cleaned the inside and the outside. These things are great. They leave no lint, no streaks. You don't have to use any cleaning products. As you can see, I cleaned the inside and the outside, just water. They remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria just by removing it from the surface. And as you can see, it did that. They are awesome. I love it. I'll have them linked for you guys below. This is not not sponsored by them I just love them a lot so if you've heard about them and wondered I definitely recommend them when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of love? This is my nasty fly trap that is full of flies. I showed this in one of my recent cleaning videos. They work really well, except for if you have toddlers who are fascinated by flies flying into glue traps and dying, then they're dangerous because I don't know if this had more dead flies or more of my toddler's hair in it, which was awful. It is so hard to get out of their hair, by the way, but she would climb up there and look at the flies and get her hair stuck in it every single day. It was a nightmare, but it works really well. We have had flies so bad this summer for some reason. And so I purchased one of those and I had so many flies on there, but it was time to take it down 
and put up a new one. So if you guys have flies, I recommend those fly traps. I got it at Lowe's, but somebody told me you can get them at the Dollar Tree, which is even better. So you can definitely check that out. Get in the water. I'm just using soft scrub and a sponge to clean off my glass stove top because it did have some spots from where pots had boiled over and stuff. So that is all I am using on there. They're all sorts of cooktop cleaners, but that's what I had and so that's what I used on this day.
So when I ordered groceries this last time, I ordered my planks that I normally use in my garbage disposal and they have been out the last couple of times. This time they gave me a drain refresher. So if you do not have a garbage disposal, these plank fizzy drain fresheners are great. Um, but I usually use like the glisten foaming cleanser once a week and then the planks on a daily basis. So I wanted to show you guys the planks. So that's why I'm using it and the other side just to kind of show you how it works. I've been using them just because that's what they gave me in place of it so you just put it in your drain and you run hot water over it and it dissolves it smells really good it just freshens up your drain helps remove any odors but if you have a garbage disposal I really like the foaming cleanse packets that I showed you but this is just one of the little plink ones for your drain because I know a lot of people don't have a garbage disposal but they want to freshen up their drain so that's what you do and it does smell really good so I like them a lot um, and hopefully soon they will have my planks back in stock because I love those for my garbage disposal. They're awesome. So in here to dust off her furniture, I'm using the Love Home Planet in the rose scent and it is amazing. I love this cleaner so much. It smells amazing. They had body care and shampoo and things like that that they came out with a couple of years ago and I've always loved that. And recently they've come out with this stuff for your home and I have been loving it. I got it at Target. My store doesn't have it in store so I always have to order online, but you get this huge bottle. I can't remember how much it is. I want to say it's like $3 and something, but it smells so good. And to me, the scent lingers and it cleans really well. It doesn't leave a film. It's not sticky or anything like that. So I love it. I'm going to show it to you guys in a second, more close up if you want to see what it looks like, but that's what I was using in there. And then I also showed you, I was using the Downy Febreze, which smells amazing as well. It smells like fresh laundry. So I was just freshening up her sheets. And I know there is no cure Drowning our deep I'm just in it for the So this is my older daughter's room and she cleans her own room and she does vacuum as well but I like to go in there and do a deep clean vacuum because to be honest with you she doesn't do the best job of vacuuming yet. She has 11 so I like to go in and vacuum sometimes too. So that's what I'm doing and when I was filming this or when I was editing it I noticed that she really needs to clean underneath of her bed so we're gonna have to talk about that. But this is her room if you guys are interested. I did just do a tour of it to kind of tell you where everything is and go a little bit more into detail that is on my channel. Channel. if you check back it's one of my more recent videos so now I'm just putting on my bedding back onto bed now that it is washed and dried and you will see how the duvet cover turned out so if you watch in the beginning where I talked about how I did not take the comforter out of my duvet I just washed them together you're gonna see kind of what that looks like coming straight out of the washer
So now I'm using my Bissell Crosswave to clean the floors. You can use it on your area rugs as well. It is not a carpet shampooer. It's just kind of a refresher. It does vacuum and mop at the same time. So with your rugs, it just kind of freshens them up. But that is what I'm doing. I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit of Pine Saw with hot water in mind. That's what I always use and it works really well. If you use too much, it'll foam up and it's not good. So don't use much. They don't recommend using anything other than their cleaner, but I I break the rules so that's what I use in mine and if you're interested I do have a full review on this on my channel as well I'll try and remember to link it for you guys below So this was the last thing that I did this day was the floors. I try to do those last because they get dirty really fast. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see more cleaning videos from me in the future. Also, I have a bunch posted if you want to go back and look at some of my older. I usually keep my cleaning playlist linked in the description box. So thank you guys so much if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you to all of my peeps that have been here for a long time. I appreciate all of your support. Support. I hope that you got lots of motivation from this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to another Extreme Clean with me. Today I'm cleaning my entire house and getting ready for some guests. I had not cleaned in like a week because I've just try been trying to enjoy the fact that my husband is home from deployment and just trying to enjoy the rest of the summer. So I kind of let things go, so it's pretty gross. So I'm showing you the before and now, and I'm also gonna show you a clip of my floors because a couple people have said, but your floors always look so clean. And I am here to tell you that they are not because Bailey sheds really bad and we're in and out and in and out and we're tracking all kinds of stuff. So my floors are definitely not clean all the time. If you're new here, I would love you to take a moment and just hit that red subscribe button and check that bell to make sure you get notified, but it's totally free to subscribe and that will just let you know when I upload. It is really important if you are already subscribed or you are just subscribing today that you hit that bell because the way YouTube has changed things around, they're not going to let you know every time I upload just because you are subscribed to me. They're only going to notify you if you have that bell checked. So make sure that is very, very important so that you do not miss my videos. A lot of people say that they've missed me or they didn't even know that I had been uploading and it's because YouTube has changed things and they're just not showing you guys that I am actually uploading. I still do upload every Wednesday for the most part. So definitely, definitely hit that bell. So this is our guest room upstairs and it does tend to become a catch-all or like a storage room for me. I have a lot of stuff in here that I want to donate or just like extra organizing supplies and stuff. So I did need to go and clean that out and wash the bed sheets because we do have guests coming. We have a wedding this weekend. So I'm going to start by stripping the bed in here and throw those sheets into the washer and then just wipe everything down really quick and get it nice and clean for our guest. I had this bookshelf in here because this was in Madeline's room before we redid it and I actually ended up putting it in Kinsley's room. So I will show you guys that in a future video because I need to nail the backpack onto it and do a little bit of work to it, but I did put it in there and I really like it. My mom actually painted that painting that you saw me 
putting up against the wall there. So it's really special to me and I did end up hanging it in there. And then I have this mirror that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. I don't have it anywhere yet. I just had to get it because it was so cheap. So eventually I will find somewhere for it. And that is a funny picture of me. I think I was like eight or nine, I think. I'm not positive, but that is a picture of me. It's pretty funny, so go ahead and laugh. But yeah, I did do a little bit of redecorating in here. And then you guys are about to see this closet in here is absolutely a nightmare. And I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I do have this closet in my house and I am not going to hide it from you guys. It is just full of my husband's army stuff and suitcases and extra decor. And I really need to go through it one day. But for right now, it's just a disaster. <laughs> So I did not clean up the kitchen the night before after I had cooked. I usually do, but sometimes I let it go and just get it the next day, like if I know I'm gonna be doing the house anyways. So that's what I did. I just let it go the night before and enjoyed time with my family. And then the next morning I got up and did my regular cleaning. And that way I didn't have to clean it twice because I would have had to clean it that night and then I would have woke up and it would have been dirty from breakfast again and I would have just had to clean it again. So I just left it and as you can see, I left the living room. Everything is just a mess. So I also wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Home Chef. If you've been with me for a while, you know I've been using them for over a year. If you're new, I have been using them for a long time. We love them, especially now that my husband's home because he love, love, loves them. I'm not the world's greatest cook, but Home Chef definitely helps and we love all of their meals. I don't think we've ever been disappointed. And I made chicken scampi, which was the first time I've ever had that. It was amazing. I'm definitely adding that to my favorites list. But if you don't know what Home Chef is, they are a meal delivery service and they have an app. I just recently figured that out and I'm not sure how I missed that, but it makes the ordering process even easier than it already is. You can just go on the app and you can skip weeks and you can order ahead. It's great for meal planning. And as you can see, I'm showing you here. It's super easy. If you want to skip that week, you just click on, you just click on skip if you want to unskip it or skip if you want to skip that week. You are not required to order every single week. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. You can save $80 off your first four boxes. So that works out to be $20 for the first four boxes and you do not have to use that consecutively. So if you want to order of the next couple of months and you want to order a couple boxes this month and a couple boxes next month, you can definitely do that. But I really encourage you guys to check out the description box. Click that link. Just go check them out. See the foods that they have to offer. But I'm showing you here some of the meals we made this week and they are so good. Like the pictures look good, but in real life, they're so flavorful and amazing and they're really healthy. They use all fresh ingredients. They don't use anything prepackaged. You're taking those little extra steps to just make things from fresh, like for example, mincing the garlic instead of using like a garlic powder or something that I normally would. And it makes all of the difference. I'm telling you guys, their, their meals are just so good. And they work to be about $10 per serving. So for us, it's definitely cheaper than eating out. If we go to a fast food restaurant and the four of us eat, it's like $40. So this is healthier. It's more convenient because it's at home. And I love that it's not wasteful at all because all of the ingredients come prepackaged and like measured 
up for just exactly the amount that you need so you're not wasting anything at all. So I love Home Chef. I highly, highly encourage you guys to at least just give it a shot. There is no commitment at all. Um, you can just try it and if you're not happy, you can never try it again. But I don't think you'll be unhappy. I think you guys will really like it. I did go ahead and put my kitchen rugs in the washer because they were dirty, so that's what I was doing there. And then I'm just using the rag that I use for the counters to go ahead and wipe my trash can down as the last thing that I did before I washed it. And then I just dust it in the dining room a little bit and I was pretty much done in there. I have to do the floor still, but I always do those with the living room. So I'm gonna clean up the living room first and then do the floors. For the long run now Red Corvette and my drop top down Calling up my digits in my Motorola And I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip, whip yeah. yeah Out in Fairfax going hard in the pit, yeah Yeah, yeah. I still ball in the pitch, yeah. yeah Something wrong with the picture Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why Why, why, why Why you need to lie, lie, lie Something is wrong with the way and I don't know why, 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 why. I did make some minor decor changes in the kitchen and the living room. You guys will see. Maybe you will notice them, maybe you won't. But for one, I did switch out the blankets. I put one in our bedroom and then I put one in the guest room. I just wanted to change things up. I like to do that. It helps to just give your space a fresh look and you don't have to spend any money by shopping your home. So sometimes I will just trade things out between rooms. So I did do that in a few different spaces. I'll see if you guys notice anything, but I'll try to also point them out as we go. Also. I vacuumed the area rug in here with my big shark vacuum because it is a pain in the butt to vacuum. I love my Dyson. It does great on carpet, but this huge thick like shag rug is awful to vacuum. I love it. It's very comfortable and very pretty, but I hate vacuuming it. It's even hard to vacuum with that vacuum, but at least it's easier than it is with the Dyson. So here's one of the things I just changed the flowers out. I took those from my fireplace mantle and put them here and then I put the other bouquet above where my bar stools are. So I don't know if you noticed, but I put that farm charm picture on the bottom shelf of this um, shelf here that my husband made for me. It was hanging on the stair wall. I actually moved my family sign that was between my windows and put it on the stair wall. And I put the deer picture that was by my love seat 
where the family picture was in between my windows. So I did move things around a little bit. I do that a lot, but I think it's fun. So that's what I did. And then I did some things in the kitchen too. So you'll see that in the after shots of the kitchen. This really cute purse is actually from Amazon. It's by the brand Daisy Rose and it was $40 and I love it. The quality is great. It's so cute. It definitely looks like a Louis Vuitton, but it's not a replica. It's just a lookalike. And um, I've been wearing it for a few days, almost a week now. And I really like it. It's so cute. I mean, you can see how cute it is, but the quality is really great. So I will link that for you guys below if you're interested. Also today I did the Dyson to vacuum and then my steam mop. I like to switch it up. Sometimes I will use my Bissell Crosswave that does the vacuuming and mopping at the same time, which is really great. But sometimes I like to use the steam mop. I find that using that helps to remove any buildup that any sort of products that I use leaves on the floor. It definitely sanitizes and I just like to switch things up anyways, keep it fun. <laughs> it gets boring to do the same thing over and over again. But I'm using the Shark pocket steam mop. It's not my favorite. I have the Bissell too. It's probably my favorite just because I feel like the steam is more consistent and just more powerful. But I do like this one because you can flip that pad over and use both sides without switching out the pad, which is really nice if you have a larger space. But if you do get a steam mop, I highly recommend going on Amazon and buying extra pads for it. They're really inexpensive and that way you can just throw the dirty one in the wash and then you'll have a clean one if you want to use it before that one's clean or if you have an extremely dirty floor like for example i did mine's really gross i'm telling you guys um if i wanted to switch out that pad you know as i was cleaning so i highly recommend getting extra pads for whatever seam mop you have but between the two i get asked a lot and the bissell is definitely my favorite but i don't hate the shark by the way that's madison she's our neighbor's dog but she's pretty much a member of our family as well we have watched her since they live next to us so for a couple of years now and she's staying the week with us so in case you were wondering we did not get a new dog that is madison she's just staying with us for a little bit so in here I moved our charging station over where I had the coffee. So there you see that farmhouse is actually a charging station, excuse me. Um, and then I used the coffee, or I mean I moved the coffee maker over by the dishwasher. So you'll see that in just a second. 
and I like it this way. I feel like it's a little less cluttered and the coffee cups are right above it, so that's nice. But now I'm headed into our bedroom. Oh, it is so, I just, I love my bedroom furniture, okay? It's beautiful, but I regret purchasing this set every day because it is dark and it shows dust. So I can dust and like 10 minutes later, it's dusty again. I hate that part of it. I wish that I would have went with something lighter. Maybe sometime in the future I can get something lighter. I just hate it because I do love my furniture. I just hate that part of it. It drives me insane, but I'm making the bed in here. I did get some new sheets on Amazon. Um, they're not as much my favorite as the other ones I've recommended for you guys. They're in my Amazon shop. Those are still my favorite. I do like these. They're very soft. I think my one problem with them is they don't seem to stay on my mattress and I don't know why that is. But the other ones, did. I don't have any issue with that. So if you're interested, I do have them linked in my Amazon store, which is always linked in the description, as well as the other ones. These are the polka dotted ones. Um, they're the 1500 thread count and the other ones are called brushed microfiber and they are so soft. They're the softest sheets I've ever felt and they're still my favorite. I totally forgot to do an after shot of the bathroom, so I do apologize, but I promise it looked much better than it did in the before.
if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this bed. It is an antique. It is really, really old. My father-in-law actually found it in an old barn and redid it for my husband and I, and it was our first bed. So it is beautiful. It does have some damage to it. Unfortunately, when we moved with the army, they are kind of infamous for breaking stuff, which sucks, but... It's still very special to us. So that is where that came from. And then that nightstand is actually mine from when I was a kid. So the things in here are totally mix match and it doesn't look that great, but it is what it is. They all are kind of sentimental. So I did switch some things around in here. You will see I put the rocking chair over by the window and I moved that table over and rehung things a little bit. So it is really nice, fresh and clean in here and I hope that our guests will enjoy it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future cleaning videos. I do them once a week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all of your support and I will see you in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an extreme bathroom deep clean where I completely take everything out of the bathroom and give it a really good deep clean. So if you guys wanna see how I do that, then definitely keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, I would love to have you be a part of my channel. So now I'm just kind of giving you an overview of the bathroom. I know that things on the camera can kind of seem like it's not really that dirty, but I'm trying to show you that it actually is pretty dirty. It's been a while since I've done a deep clean like this. So the first thing that I do is take everything out of the bathroom. So I threw all of the rugs and the hand towel and the towels and everything into the washing machine and I got those washing first and foremost. I did take down the shower curtain and the liner and wash those as well. I, I wash my liner, I replace it maybe a couple times of year but I really just wash it for the most part you can wash them and they should hold up just fine so I also dry it in the dryer you don't have to you can let it air dry but it does just fine for me so that's the first thing is take absolutely everything out and wash anything that you can throw in the washer So these are the cleaning products I'm going to be using. I did not use the comment because it was empty, which is such a bummer. And I haven't been able to find it at Walmart. It is my favorite cleaner for the bathtub and shower, but I'm using the Kaboom in its place and I did like it. It still doesn't replace my comment though. I love the comment and the lavender scent, but I wanted to show you that those are the products that I'm using. This lemon scented Clorox bleach is my favorite cleaner for the bathroom. I do use bleach in my bathroom. I know some people don't like to use bleach, but I like to use bleach so um yeah so I'm using some Lysol in the toilet bowl there I just basically wanted to finish that off I didn't really need to do it because the toilet brushes that I use I'll show you in a second already have cleaner in them but I was trying to get rid of it so also I have a jetted tub so what I will do is run some bleach water through the jets. So that's what I was doing there was pouring in some bleach and filling it up. And as you can see, I had the trash can in there because I just let it soak in bleach in there as well so that it could be sanitized because it does sit right next to my toilet.
Barbie dolls. Ice cream, you scream popsicles. Falling in and out of love. We can hear our hearts go. So this is what we got to do. Glide on up into the big blue. Apart from that, feeling like we've already. I like to use an old toothbrush to get up underneath of like where the faucet meets the sink because that can get some gunk up there. So I just keep an old toothbrush and that's what I'm using that for. So I'm using this dish one from the Dollar Tree. This is one of my favorite Dollar Tree finds. You can put a little bit of dish soap and vinegar in them, and I usually do, but mine didn't have any in it this time. But they make great shower cleaners, and I keep them in all of our showers, and that way they're always there. And then this hose attachment is also a lifesaver. I will find one and link it for you guys below, but it makes cleaning my shower and my bathtub so much easier. Plus, I use it to bathe the dog, so I think it's 20 bucks, and it's great. So if you guys want to check it out, like I said, I'll have have it linked for you but I also highly recommend getting one of these dish ones to clean your tubs and showers because they make it shine and I will show you in the end you will see the bathtub and the shower and you will see how shiny they are So these Clorox toilet wands are great. I love them so much and they're really inexpensive to get the starter kit and then you just get the refills. The refills will last you forever and they do a great job of cleaning. I like how they get up underneath of the rim. They have totally replaced the traditional toilet cleaner in my entire house. I have one in all the bathrooms and I love them so much. So I will try and find some and link for you as well. I was out, that was the last one. So I'm just showing you here, me refilling it is really easy and then I took the Clorox wipe and I always take a Clorox wipe and wipe the wand down after I use it but since I was doing a deep clean I wiped down the whole unit as well just because it does sit next to the toilet.
So now I'm spraying down the baseboards with this bleach cleaner as well, and I went ahead and scrubbed those. They do get dusty. A lot of the dirt in your bathroom is from toilet paper and towels because they produce a lot of lint, but also there's obviously all of those germs that you can't see with it being around the toilet. So I made sure to wipe down the walls and the baseboards and everything around the toilet. And now it's stuck in the mirror, so we climb the fence. It's like the whole turn its back on us. And now we can't tell if it's ever more hell. It's like knowing all the answers. Oh, you're sorry, but you never can tell. So the reason that there's so many suds in my bathtub is because there was some soap residue in it and when I turn the jets on it gets bubbly. I could have rinsed it out beforehand, which you could probably do. I definitely recommend, but I didn't. So I'm just spraying it out now, rinsing it clean with hot water, and then I'm going to get in there and scrub it with that wand. So the next thing I always do is when I'm bringing everything back into the bathroom, I wipe it down because again, it gets really dusty and again, germs. So I'm wiping down everything just with a damp rag. Also, side note, I did wash my hands, but I found some lotion up here. My hands were dry and I had just washed them, so I was putting some of the lotion on.
A lot of people think that this is like an air purifier, I think. I get a lot of comments, but it's actually a heater because I get really cold when I take a shower or if I give Kinsley a bath in here, I'll turn it on. That way when I get her out and she's cold, I can get her dressed in front of it, but it just helps keep my bathroom warm and I just like to have a heater in there. So that's actually a heater, not an air purifier. Think I've got fire. wondering I believe I got the shower curtain at Walmart I can't remember for sure but I'm pretty sure that I got it at Walmart but it was a long time ago so I don't know if they still have it sweetness could reach everyone there being awards maybe the birds will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope got these rugs at Walmart I am for sure about that because I did get them recently they're really nice high quality rugs and they were the most inexpensive ones I could find because I did look for a really long time and they had a lot of different colors so this is the final result as you can see everything is really shiny it's completely sanitized and germ free and of course it's smelling fresh and this is the deep clean that I will do about once a month or once every other month I do clean my bathroom weekly if not daily but I do a deep clean like this as often as I can so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope that this will help motivate you guys to clean your bathrooms if it motivated you don't forget to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you click out because I do post cleaning motivation videos every single week I will have my cleaning videos playlist linked for you guys in the description as well as anything else that I said that I would try and link for you that will be in there as well so I will see you guys in my next video bye Dreaming of you, dreaming of you, dreaming of you wanted to start by saying that today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club and I will talk a little bit more about them in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a relaxing morning clean with me. So I've added some relaxing music and I hope that this will just help you if you're stressed out. I know that I have been having a lot of anxiety because school is starting and there's so much to do and there's so many things that are gonna change in our routine. So I wanted to put together this relaxing routine for you guys to change it up. So I'm starting out today with making my meal planning list. I did my grocery shopping online and I picked Picked it up later this day but I went ahead and wrote down on this chalkboard magnet that you can stick on your fridge each meal that I had planned for that week and you can get them on Amazon and I'll try to find this one and link it for you guys now that I found 
if you are new here, I would love to have you take a moment and hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. If you like my videos and you want to see more, this will help you to be notified when I do upload. So I would love to have you. If you are new, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would love to know if I've gotten any newbies this week. So I'm showing you the mess in here. We had gotten back from being out of town. So we had a lot of stuff to unpack and then just the normal laundry on the floor and stuff. So I wanted to quickly clean up in here, make the bed, dust, vacuum, you know, the normal things. I will be decorating for fall very soon, so stay tuned for that. I think that Big Lots has come out with some really, really cute stuff. I saw somebody on Instagram showing it, so I am going to go to my Big Lots and see if they have any of it. And I will definitely be showing you that, but I have planned in the next couple of weeks to do a fall decorate and clean with me. I'm going to be breaking it out a little bit early just to give you guys some inspiration for when you're ready to decorate. I know a lot of people decorate more in September, but I wanted to be ahead of the game so you guys could have that inspiration and see what's out there. So I'm really excited about that. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on it. I have been having some allergies and so I went ahead and broke out my um, oil diffuser. I love this pineapple one. I got it on Amazon and I'm diffusing some lavender and eucalyptus in it next to my nightstand and hoping that that will help me breathe a little bit better tonight because last night was pretty miserable. Right now I'm showing you this box from Dollar Shave Club. This is their $5 shave box. This is the starter kit. So for $5 you get four six blade razors. They're really heavy duty and nice handle and then a bottle of their shave butter. I love their razors. My husband loves their razors. We've actually been using them for probably about six years now. When I first heard of them, I could not believe how cheap they were. If you compare their prices to razors that you would find in the drugstore or at Walmart or something, Something like that it would just blow your mind I don't know how they can do it to keep them so cheap but they do 
So they asked if I would like to offer my viewers this starter kit for $5 and I said absolutely. It's a great deal so I highly recommend you guys check it out and I will have that link for you in the description box but it's just dollarshaveclub.com slash jesse and you can go and get this offer and check out their razors for yourself but I know you're going to love them. Sure. 
they fall and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl So these are my holy grail laundry items. I like the Gain Original and then the blue Suavitel and then the Gain Original scent beads. That's what I use most of the time and I just love the way that it makes our laundry smell. Across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydream So make sure that you stay tuned to the end because I did do a little laundry chat where I just talked about like update on life and where we've been and what we've been up to. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you stay tuned to the very end.
So that is pretty much it. I'm going to let it go over to our laundry trap. But before I leave, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. It's hard to confide. You move my world right. Every time. Bring you magic near You belong with the fairies No matter what I say It's black or white, not gray Gotta stay loose load which is Kinsley's so it's not too too hard but it's like two weeks worth of laundry because I get behind on hers I guess she has a lot of clothes so she's able to wear um you know clothes for two weeks before she needs them to be laundered so it's a lot but I'm gonna try to hurry through it I'm really hot I'm starting to sweat I turned the air down a little bit but I'm at the point where I'm done. I don't want to clean anymore. I just want to sit down and relax. For some of you, I thought you might like to have a little personal chat and update you on life and just where we've been, what's going on. So most of you know that my husband came back from deployment and that was about three weeks ago, I think. And so we have been so busy just visiting family and we've had a wedding we've been out of town the last two weeks just trying to make the best of what we have left of the summer um madeline starts school this week so her summer is pretty much over she starts wednesday which sucks neither one of us are ready for it but and then she starts soccer wednesday as well so my life is about to get really really crazy um and then my husband is going to be on leave 
for three weeks in August. So that's nice. I just wish we were still on summer vacation so that we could do more as a family with the kids and stuff, but we'll just have to make it work. It'll be nice though to have him home because he pretty much went right back to work when he got home. They don't get like to take time off. They still have to work, but they do usually get to take leave within a month of being home. So I'm excited for that. It's been, it's been good, but it's been an adjustment. It's hard to, your whole routine changes and for everybody, not just me, for the kids, for him. Um, you know, he, he was over there with grown men and grown women and everybody knows how to do their job for the most part. And here it's totally different. It's kids and kids don't really know how to do much and what they do know how to do, they whine and complain about. So it's a huge adjustment for him and it's a huge adjustment for me because I'm used to being able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, watch what I want on TV, go to bed when I want, take a hot bath when I want. And now that has all changed because I share a bathroom. So I can't take a hot bath if he's in the shower or if he's already went to bed or, you know, maybe he wants to go to bed and I'm not really tired and don't want to go to bed, but I find that it's important to go to bed at the same time. So nine times out of 10, I do. Um, even though I'm not necessarily tired, that's just like a sacrifice that I make for my marriage. He has to go to bed earlier because he has to get up earlier, you know? So, and I want to go to bed with him. So that's been an adjustment, making suppers, like, like meals, because the girls and I really just had easy peasy stuff when he was gone. So making suppers, and which I have actually been enjoying. I thought I was going to dread, but I actually have been enjoying. So that's been going good. Let's see. I don't know. It's just everything is different. It's like your world gets turned around, you know, because your schedule changes. I get out of the house a lot more because there's places to go. I don't know, but it's been good. Just an adjustment. And yeah, we've had a lot going on and we're really busy. I'm just getting ready for school, middle school. I'm really nervous. Maddie's really nervous. I think she's going to be fine. She's just going to have to, you know, see what it's all about and get used to the new, the new routine. My battery died, so I had to replace it. But also, I wanted to mention that, um, that, that, that. <laughs> um, Kristen Casper and I got to meet up a couple of weeks ago, and she vlogged it. There's been pictures all over our Instagram, so if you don't follow us there and you want to, you should go see it because we did a bunch of funny and cute pictures. But everybody says that we are sisters or twins. It's so funny because we get that all the time. So when we met up, we had a great time. I met her whole family. She met my whole family. And we went to eat and we went to a park and took a bunch of pictures and stuff and the kids played. So she vlogged that and that's up on her channel. Her channel is Kristen Casper. If you want to go see that, it was a lot of fun. So now I have met three YouTubers this year so far. So I met Katie Satilli, which her and I have been friends since the beginning of our YouTube journeys. And I love her so much. And then, um... Mackenzie from Carla Mackenzie. I met her and we've been talking for a while, but now that we've met and like, we just clicked. We just get along really, really well. So we talk almost daily. So I love her. We stayed in a hotel with our girls. Our girls love each other. It's just like a perfect match. It was so crazy how much we are alike and how much we get along. Um, so I met her and then I met Kristen. So it's been great. I would love to one day be able to meet so many more of the YouTube ladies in this community. I just think it's so fun and inspiring and I don't know, it's just it's a nice little community that we have here for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's all I was thinking there when I was changing my battery. I'm almost done with her clothes. This is the little dress she wore for um, my cousin's wedding. It was so cute and Maddie had one very close to that and she wore it to the wedding and then when we got home I washed it and it ripped a big huge hole in the back. And the dress that I wore to her wedding, I wore it once. I bought this at Kohl's. I bought all these at Kohl's if I didn't mention that. I was wearing 
that dress for the first time, washed it, and it also ripped completely. So I'm really mad. And I don't have the receipt, so I could probably take it back, but I just don't even know if I want to deal with it. It just really discourages me from wanting to buy from Kohl's because I love Kohl's. I love shopping there. I shop there a lot, but that was a huge disappointment. Could have been a fluke. Who knows? But it did stink. All right, look at there. So I got all of her laundry done. And by the way, if you're curious where I got this adorable laundry bag, I got it at um, the store called the At Home Store. I think it was like $16.99. So I love it. And this part in here unzips and you can take it out and wash it as well. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to.